First, there was the void. And from the void came the matter. And like a cancer floating within nothingness, the megastructure. Many sought to discover its secrets, but all failed. All, that is, except for Victor Garbanzos. He led the Infonet Corporation deep into the heart of the megastructure and vanished. For years he was gone, presumed lost like all others. But one day Victor returned. He emerged from the heart of the megastructure with incredible knowledge, unbelievable technologies, and immeasurable power. To the astonishment of the people, he declared that the worthy would no longer fear death that the Infonet Corporation would forever preserve their souls in immortal metallic bodies. Metallic bodies called Denzels. At his command, the Denzels built the magnificent Golden City, Mecca to the Chosen, epicenter to all the knowledge and the power of the megastructure. All that was 212 years ago. The Garbanzos family and their Infonet Corporation still rule the megastructure today. No one knows what was found in the shadows centuries ago, or the true nature of the power that it gave. But the promised utopia was a lie. The Denzels aren't blissful, eternal vessels for devoted souls. They are the mechanized prisons of industrial slaves, bound forever to the will and whim of the noble corporation. Rebels fight against the tyranny, but their efforts are hopeless. Infonet's twisted armies are just too powerful. My name is Shinji Fallon. Once the engineer at Infonet, I was a part of their machine. And yes, I stood by as lives were destroyed. But no more. I will end this. My only hope is to know what they know. For that, I must follow in their footsteps and journey to the heart of the megastructure. I built my own Denzel. One beyond their control. I've manufactured Denzels before, but this one was... different. This was creation, not construction. As the spark of her took hold, there was... something. Something I didn't expect. Something I didn't even know that I was looking for. She... Cherry... gave life to me. She is my happiness. We shared a beautiful life together, but we still planned to find the truth. We just never got the chance. Because one night, Infinite came for us. Really, Shinji, does this thing actually mean something to you? Just let her be, Salem. You got me. Please, give her back to me. I don't think so. Hey, the gates. Dispose of this abomination. 
it's time to go. Wait! Checkpoint. If you ever fall during battle, your body will be reconstructed at the last visited checkpoint. Convenient. Now to take the elevator by pressing the quick attack button on the lever. Yeah, yeah, I know. If you ex- <laughs> Quick attacks don't deal a lot of damage, but they do recharge your void. Pay attention to the white bar in the upper left corner as you fight your next enemy. You can spend voids to use weapons and combat abilities you'll find on your journey. <laughs> you can always avoid enemy attacks and even hazards simply by rolling out of harm's way. enemy just dropped bits. It's a currency that can be exchanged all around the megastructure for goods. 
Don't be shy to defeat any potential threats. They can drop valuable materials that will likely be useful to you in the future. enemies in glorious fashion when they're stunned. Once their HP is critical, just press the heavy attack button when near them for powerful finishes. Now we're talking, I get to brutalize them? I'm gonna make it rain blood! Disturbing, but technically accurate. Brutalizing enemies will generate void spheres that will recover void in large amounts. attacks with the parry button. This only works if you get the timing just right. Here's a hint. Parryable attacks flash be a successful parry will deplete enemies of their grit, which is represented by their yellow bars. As their grit reaches zero, they will be stunned and susceptible to all of your violence. Be careful, however, because not all attacks are parryable. Injured, you can always trigger your healing function.
looks like Raz's backpack. We mustn't waste time in returning it back to him. 